everybody. Happy Tuesday. Transformation Tuesday is here. Um, I am in our basement, which is now um, my makeshift office, as well as my fitness center. You can, you know, I guess you can't really see it behind me. Um, this is literally where I work out. We just spent the entire weekend trying to organize our mess of a basement since we moved in. We haven't touched it. And I was literally working out in this super, super small space. Um, so for those people who tell me that they don't have space to work out at home and it just won't work for them, you should have seen what I was make ha making happen before we cleared some of this. Um, so we still need to get some mats and stuff, but I do have my, my small plyo mat from, from Beachbody that I'm using. But anyway, um, so here I am because this is the only quiet I have in the house. But um, I am super excited to bring to you this Transformation Tuesday story. It's a little long, so I'm apologizing in advance. It's also on my blog at kimbents.blogspot.com in case you want to just cut to the chase and just head over there. But, so, um, many of you know that I am a Shakeology drinker. I obviously drink it all the time. I drink it daily. My husband drinks it daily. But we were not always like that. Um, in fact, when I first bought a bag of it, and it took me a long time to finally decide to buy a 30-day supply of Shakeology because, and I quote, these are my exact words to my husband, that's just expensive. It really cannot be worth it. Um... But I saw my friends doing it, so I thought, what the heck, I'm just going to try it. So I wasn't hooked at all when I first I first got it. So um, I got two sample packets from a friend of mine who was a coach at the time and got sick both times. I ended up having an allergy to one of the proteins in the mix that I didn't know at the time. Um, the whey protein, I didn't know that I was allergic to it, or maybe not allergic to it, but was sensitive to it, I guess. My husband loved it, and so I'm like, whatever, we'll buy a month's supply but we were like, you know, we just had a baby and we just didn't think it was worth spending $140 a month. Like to us, it wasn't a priority because we grouped it into that. It's just a protein drink. We'll just go to GNC and get something similar. Um, I was a fitness instructor. So a lot of the people that I was, that I was coaching and training got different protein powders from GNC. I was like, whatever, it's the same thing. Or just go and get the carnation stuff when it's on sale like delusional, but that's what I thought because I didn't know any better. I was super uneducated. Um, you know, the person that I bought it from, super nice girl, but she didn't explain to me why it was the price that it was. So I just dismissed it for two years. Okay. For two years. Um, for two years, I saw my Facebook friends continue to do it. Um, none of my close friends were drinking it because none of my close friends were really into Beachbody, but a lot of my, like, outer circle, I guess you could say, they were drinking it. They were losing weight. It looked convenient. Um, but my husband was happy with his makeshift shakes and I was like, whatever, I'm not doing it. So fast forward when I became a coach and my now coach was like, why don't you try the vegan, which nobody had recommended to me before. I tried the vegan, love it. Um, don't get sick off it, really enjoy it. Um, so I, I drink the vegan, no problem. I can even do half of like my favorite is the cafe latte, but because it's the regular formula, I can't have a whole scoop. So I do half cafe latte, half vegan chocolate and it's amazing. Anyway, um, Back to the story. So I think I can say this without reservation because I'm pretty sure my husband would agree with it. But he, his diet, it, it's not the best, right? So when I met him, he was close to 200 pounds, I believe. Um, he's known or was known to have a, at least one soda every day, sometimes two. Pizza, pretzels, like burgers, like going out to lunch. Like he just, you know, it was just kind of his deal. Like he'd go to the gym, he'd throw a few weights around, but he his diet was not good. Um, once we had our daughter Alexis, so when we were dating and engaged and first married, he would work out with me a lot because that's what I did. I was a fitness instructor and so I dragged him along. But then once we had Alexis, he just didn't really work out at all. I mean, there were months when I don't think he worked out once and he was the king of excuses. So where I would be tired and my butt would be dragging and my alarm would go off and I'd get out of bed and I'd make it happen. He had every excuse in the book and it just annoyed the crap out of me. Um, so for the past couple of weeks, he's been consistent. It's been about three weeks. He's doing the hammer and chisel program and he's been consistent with it. So we're all excited about that. But up until this point, his workouts, super inconsistent. I mean like way inconsistent. Um, you know, so he's not, up until recently, he hasn't been one to, to work out. But last year at this time, um, he works for a company who does wellness screenings every single year, which I'm sure many of you probably have the same thing. And he was kind of upset with his results last year. So he's in his early 30s, and his results came back. Now, again, he had lost – he was like 
175, I think, at the time. 175 last year, 172, 175. So weight wasn't an issue. He had already dropped a lot of weight, right? Um, just by changing his diet a little bit, he lost a good chunk of weight. So we thought everything was fine because he looked fine, right? He looked healthy. But he came back. He had prehypertension. Um, he had, hold on a second. He had prehypertension. His heart rate at rest was acceptable, but it wasn't great. His bad cholesterol was good, so we were really happy about that. But the prehypertension thing, that struck a nerve with us because we had two kids under the age of three, and he and his family and his dad's side, the men in his dad's side, have a really bad history of heart disease. His grandfather died of a massive heart attack. His dad has been on blood pressure medicine for as long as I know him. And so with young kids, we just built a house that's not kind of where we wanted to be. So I decided that I was going to buy him a bag of Shakeology. I signed him up for the auto shipment and told him he was drinking it. That for us was two Shakeology bills a month. Okay. So for those people who come to me and say, I don't have $140 to spend on Shakeology. I signed him up as a coach for the discount. He didn't know at the time, but I was like, if you're, you know, I'm going to sign you up as a coach. So instead of 140 a month, you're spending a hundred dollars a month. The coach fees are minimal. So you're still saving a ton of money. Um, so it was $200 a month that we were spending on Shakeology. If you're sitting here and you are just saying that you yourself can't spend $100 to $140 a month on Shakeology, you can come talk to me um, after you're done watching this because I can tell you how we have drastically cut our bills and all of our expenses. Our grocery bill went from like $500 to $600 bucks a month to $300 on average, if not less. And we have two kids, and no, they're not starving. We're eating well. We're eating a lot. So if it's a money thing, I can 100% show you where you can start cutting money. You and your spouse or you and your fiancé go out to dinner twice a month. Save that money and put it towards Shakeology, right? Maybe you're only getting a coffee out once a week instead of two or three times a week. That right there is going to be your $100 to $140 a month for Shakeology. But that's a conversation for a different video. Um, you know, most people laugh when I say that, most people laugh at me when they, I say that we do that, but listen to what happened. So keep in mind, he just started working out three weeks ago. So he's only really been consistently working out for three weeks. His diet, it's not 80, 20, it's probably 70, 30. And I think he'd agree with that, but he was shocked when he got his results from his wellness screening. Okay. So 12 months on Shakeology, one year later, his blood pressure went from prehypertension to normal range, which is awesome. His LDL, his cholesterol, is off the charts good. Literally, that's what it said. Off the charts good. His heart rate is now in the desired range. He dropped four inches in his waist. He lost 11 pounds. And his BMI went from a 26 to a 24.5. So, was that worth it for us to spend $1,200 over the past 12 months for him to get those results? To not be on blood pressure medicine to not have to worry. I mean, he's still going to his family doctor. He's still getting regularly screened because of everything that's going on with his family. But to have those kind of results, was that worth $1,200? For sure, it was. You think about how much it costs to go to, on blood pressure medication. Once you're on that, how often you have to go to the doctor. Other complications that it can that it can cause that you need to be seen. Right off the bat, you're spending close to that. So why wouldn't you? Do you have young kids? Do you want to start a family? Do you just want to have more energy? I mean, these are all things that are just side effects of drinking Shakeology, right? Um, I don't know any other protein drinks that do that. Anyway, none that I know of. Um, you know, why is Shakeology so expensive? Because it's full of all natural ingredients. It's not just a protein shake. It is something that's going to help your nutrition, help your fitness, help your wellness, help your lifestyle. And my husband is just such an example of that. Um, because again, you know, that was really one of the only things that he changed. I'm not saying that Shakeology is this miracle, you know, drink that you're going to drink it and you can just eat crap the rest of the time and you're going to be fine. You obviously have to make some changes, but it seriously has some amazing, amazing effects. So if you think that people are drinking Shakeology and Beachbody just has this so overpriced because they want to make a gazillion dollars, you're sadly mistaken. Um, you know, there is so much that goes into it to make it so good for you. It is way more than just a protein shake. It's not just for image. If $140 a month is, is too much, I can get you down to $100 a month. Um, you can, you know, message me after you're done watching this. But seriously, $1,200 a year 
to not have prehypertension, to be in a normal range with your BMI, to have your cholesterol be where it needs to be, to have your heart rate where it needs to be, to be healthy for our two children who are going to be four and two. I mean, that's just seriously like, you know, worth the investment. It's an investment in your health. So again, you want to find ways to cut down on your expenses so that you can pay for this, you just you just message me. Um, you know, I'm looking to do a series on eating clean on a budget because I am so on a budget. I've got two kids. My daughter is in preschool. She's in dance. She's in soccer. We've got two car payments. We've got a mortgage. I mean, listen, I get it. You know, it's not like we just have tons of money that we can spend 200 bucks a month on Shakeology. I mean, we have to cut in other areas. That means that we don't go out to dinner as much. You know, I see a lot of my friends say, oh, I can't afford it. And then they're out to dinner three nights a week or three nights a month. And they're, you know, posting pictures here and posting pictures there. And I'm like, dude, that's a shake. That's a month of Shakeology. Don't sit here and tell me you don't have money. Um, you just have to make choices. It's all about choices. And you know what? It's not for everybody. And I, I don't want to offend anyone. It's totally not for everybody. But if you really want to make a change, honestly, this stuff, it really, really, really works. Um, and it's not just for weight loss, right? Like I said, Mark was not needing to lose weight. He really, truly wasn't. But he needed to bring his blood pressure down. So you're sitting there and you're like, I don't have to lose weight, but I'm not sure how the rest of my health is. Or I just want to make sure that I'm healthy and I'm, I'm eating right. Give it a shot. You know, give it a shot for 30 days. See what you think. Drink it for a couple months and see how you feel. Um, so that's my transformation, my transformation Tuesday story. I'm Super proud to bring it to you because um, even I was totally shocked when his um, wellness results came in. Uh, the I think we we got them last week. I was I was totally shocked. I know he was pretty surprised too. It was just awesome to see. So if you have any questions, just shoot me a message or let me know. But that's it. Have a great day, guys.